Hey guys, what's going on? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon, day 10 of the pond construction here. And I'm running the Deer 650K. It's pretty awesome. And uh, we're packing in the blue clay back here. Mike actually traded out the 7 Series because it wasn't big enough. I paused so that can kind of soak in a little bit. Yeah, now he's running the 9 Series. Um, and man, I thought the 7 Series was cool. This thing is unreal. That he's even getting it stuck, but I'll have to show you what he's doing up front. He dug down several different layers. Now he's parking on one of the layers with the wagon, and he's di he's digging down below um, said layer. So he's kind of raising the excavator up a level, dumping it in the wagon, which then has to climb a pretty good hill to get out of the pit. So not surprising. But while the D4H is down, I'm out here running this 650K deer. I gotta say it's pretty awesome but man is it different it is really easy to be good in something like that makes you appreciate the old school operators who run those power shift machines that don't have these electronically controlled hydraulics ie me last week before the old one broke still excited to get the d4 back and run it at some point um but for now i guess this will do i like being out in the open air and be able to smell the diesel although at the end of the day, it can be a little rough when you're out in the sun and dirt all day long. I'm sitting there and sip on a cola and have my AC going and my tunes. But yeah, up here on the berm, you can now see we're packing in a lot of this blue clay. And this stuff does pack down really well for a road. That red clay is a little, a little gummy. And it just, you can see over here, it kind of, you get weight on it and it just pushes right out. This blue stuff at least pack in and be drivable so let me show you guys this setup we got going here today a little 9 series towing that homes wagon and same old excavator 7 series is sitting on the sidelines over there along with the d4 and the, the backhoe up there hoping to get that d4 running early next week got service coming out to look at it Just a little 9 series down there in the hole. He told me he got stuck three or four times. I mean, he's only towing 30 or so tons up that embankment there. See if you can get it out of this hole without getting stuck. That's amazing. Look at that thing. This is what you call an operation. This thing is a behemoth. Sorry if any of you guys out there actually own a 9 Series yourself and are sick of me going on and on about this thing. But how can you not? Back to the side up front. It's kind of cool to stand up here and watch, watch him load. About got wet little puddle down there he's rutting us in real nice I could probably just stand here all day and watch this might have to just spewing it. I need to clean that road up tomorrow. You 
walk over here and show you guys this hole that he's working on. Now this hole I'm about to show you is going to be what is the max depth that he's going to carry throughout most of the pond. He says probably only 20 feet. Seems a whole lot deeper than that, but I don't know. It's going to be a lot of dirt. And I know I kind of showed you guys this a little bit on the video where Chris and I were over here just uh, taking a look the other night. But now that it's, you know, significantly longer, it looks ridiculous. It's like a rock quarry. And I didn't catch it on video, but I just about slipped and fell down in there. So we'll pan around here. Yep, I'm completely underwater by about a foot and a half to two feet. And then you get, there's that. It is going to take an insane amount of time to fill this thing up. Additionally, it's also going to take us an insane amount of time to dig it. This is day 10. And Mike is a workhorse. Let me just capture the incline he's driving this thing down. Well, he just dumped that load. I better go out there and doze it down. This is insanity. It's amazing that he can even drive up out of here hauling however many tons, 25, 30. Well, I've been running this dozer for an hour, hour and a half now. I gotta say, it's like my office with a blade out front. Like you could just sit in there, listen to the radio, be in the AC, you can't huff diesel. You can't hardly hear the tracks clanking. I don't know. I mean, it's nice if you're going to be in there for a job all day long, but I think I actually like the D4 better. So I'll walk here in the berm real quick. I think Mike's coming back with another load. I'm not sure how long we're going to work yet tonight, but... So the process is he drives up this ramp here, and you can see we've stacked it in all across here. And he's dumping right about here somewhere, and I'm knocking it down. Earlier in the day when I wasn't here, though, he was pulling up on there, then backing into all this. And here he comes. I can see him through the trees over there. And this is the goal. Build this up high enough that we're sitting out, looking out above the field. That thing is so big. You have to ask him how much fuel he burns in there. Tailgate. Driving that thing's a full time job compared to the 7 Series. It's hydrostatic. If you didn't believe me in my earlier videos that Mike had all the best toys, well, then you might now. It's not near as fun when he leaves from here. When he leaves the pond, that thing is just grunting and throwing black smoke everywhere. It's still cool nonetheless. So I'm gonna hop in the dozer and knock that load down. Go ahead and shoot my sign off video here because when, my, when you get up there at the end of the day working with Mike, you just start talking about everything under the sun. And you know what? I love it. It's, it's a good time. He's uh, he's joining the group. Right? At the end of this thing, he's going to be one of the guys. He might just join any farm life, you know? Because without him, we don't really have much other than a few little John Deere tractors and a backhoe. So we kind of need him. But anyway, thanks for stopping by and checking out the Pond Update video. Day 10. One day, we will be done with this pond. Don't know when that's going to be. we got vacation coming up, so... I don't want to leave Mike stranded, but we may have to if uh, this thing's not done. So, appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, grab a shovel, grab a wheelbarrow, come help us out. See you guys next time.